Hello everyone. Greetings from Cornwall, the far southwest of Cornwall in fact. This is my hometown and area, Penzance and West Penwith. Here are some shots. EWTN's The Reformation mini-series continues with episode 4, called Disagreement and Chaos. It will be broadcast in the USA on August 7th and the 8th and 9th. In Europe on Tuesday the 4th at 10.30pm, with encores on the 5th and the 7th. As always, click on EWTN scheduler link below. The times will be taken off your computer. In this episode, we explore how once separated from the Catholic Church, Protestantism began to fracture. The Protestant Reformation may have begun with Luther, but he could not control it. The Reformation had spread to Switzerland, where a newly ordained priest named Huldrych Zwingli began to question the Church after reading Luther's works. However, Zwingli's form of Protestantism would differ from Luther's, and the Bible itself became a bone of contention. Religion, which had been the bedrock of a shared belief and social life, had become a source of discord and even armed conflict. Moreover, the various Protestant sects began to persecute one another. Moreover, in a series of debates at Zurich City Council, Zwingli and other supporters, such as Leo Zud, of the nearby St. Peter's Kirche, called for a number of unprecedented changes to Christian religious practice, such as not praying to saints, the abolition of the mass, and the removal of religious art and objects. And remember that there is nothing more poisonous, noxious and utterly devilish than a rebel. You must kill him as you would a mad dog. If you do not fall upon him, he shall fall upon you and the whole land. By the spring of 1525, the various rebel armies or bands not only covered central and southern Germany, but had spread to southeastern France, Switzerland, and into Austria. By now they were 300,000 strong, but were disorganized. At first they achieved some success and wrought much destruction. Some radical Protestant sects, such as the Anabaptists, would agree with Luther's teachings on faith alone, but yet interpret scripture differently and not only banish the sacraments, but further reform the church, even from Luther's version. We now see the splintering off of different Protestant sects, and they would be persecuted by both Luther and Zwingli. Many thanks to all who took part in the Cantwell shoot, where most of this episode was filmed, especially John Mole, who played Luther, and Harry Brotherton, who played Zwingli. And also many thanks to Tony Plumridge, who narrates. God bless. Bye-bye.